Hey guys, Andrew Webbers here with this edition of Bleeding Edge TV. We're talking to Corning, the makers of Gorilla Glass. They make the glass that covers smartphones, tablets, um, pretty much any device that has glass on it that manufacturers don't want to shatter. Um, they're probably using Corning Gorilla Glass. The company just announced Gorilla Glass 3 at CES and we talked to them and get a demo of uh, just how strong this glass is. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Brandon Jackson with Gear Live again at CES 2013. I'm with Jamin Amin from Corning and we're gonna talk about Gorilla Glass. Uh, so this glass is pretty much an indestructible uh, glass up to, well, up to a certain point at least. Uh, okay, so uh, tell us a little bit about this. So last year we came to CES with Gorilla Glass 2 and in Gorilla Glass 2 we increased the, uh, the amount of compression we can put in the glass so that we could go thinner as compared to Gorilla Glass 1 into products. This year what we've done is we've come out with Gorilla Glass 3 which is a glass that's more damage tolerant. We've changed the glass network by playing with the composition and in doing so what we've, what we've allowed the glass to do is if you form a scratch on a glass you've got to apply a significantly higher load on Gorilla Glass 3 as compared to Gorilla 2 and definitely as compared to any of the competitor glasses in order to see lateral chipping on the, on the scratch. Lateral cracks are what cause visibility issues, okay, they tend to diffract a lot of glass, uh, a lot of light off the glass, and they also compromise the strength of the glass. So, in order to do the demo here, we've got a competitive glass with a 7 Newton scratch. You can just about see the scratch on that, on that piece of glass in the center here. Okay. We're going to put that in this fixture here, and we're going to drop a ball. This is an inclined plane demo, it's at 10 degrees. The ball is a 130 gram stainless steel ball. It's an industry standard ball that's used for testing glass. Okay. So we'll raise this pin. Oh, look at that, shattered it. And you see that the glass shatters right from the crack. It's okay. a completely unusable screen now. Absolutely, absolutely. We'll do the same with Gorilla Glass 3. Okay. Again, this has a seven Newton scratch in the glass. Okay. And just to show you, this is what a 7 Newton scratch looks like on a competitive glass. Yeah. These are the lateral, lateral cracks that cause the visibility issue as well as the strength limiting clause. This is what the 7 Newton scratch looks like on Gorilla Glass 3. Okay. Okay. We'll do this demo on Gorilla 3. Nothing, it just bounced right off the screen. On the glass. Okay. Very cool, very cool. What we'll now do is we'll raise this platform from 10 degrees to 30 degrees. So that's raising it by a factor of three. And as we do that, we increase the impact energy at the point of contact by a factor of three as well. Okay. okay. And just to show you how, how much impact energy we have, this is a piece of aluminum. It's at 0.7 millimeters as well. Okay. So this is aluminum metal. This is actually metal that we're going to drop a ball on here. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. All right, I see that little ding in it. We've all had those in our cars. That's quite a significant uh, dent, absolutely. Yes. yes. And we'll do the same test now with Gorilla Glass 3, again with the 7 Newton scratch in the glass. It was like rubber, it just bounced Two right bounces. out. Two bounces. Right. I don't see why every glass isn't made out of that. Every product you mean isn't made out of that. Absolutely. We don't either. We'd love for all products to be made out of that. <laughs> okay, so... I, uh, just to show you yeah. how much retained strength the glass still has, we'll take this piece of glass and we'll put it into this lever press. This is again an industry standard test that's used to measure the surface strength of the glass. So now remember we've, we've actually bounced this 130 gram ball okay, off that piece of glass twice. We'll now apply a load to the glass. And this gauge is telling you how much load I'm applying. 
I can go up to about 100 pounds. I can't quite see that, but I think I'm going up to about 100 pounds. And the glass is still intact. Very nice. Okay. Okay. I don't know how many of my friends' phones I've seen with cracked screens like this, and it's uh, obviously they don't have this product in their phone. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Yeah. So uh, you, you have an extensive list of uh, companies that you're working with on your website, you said earlier. That's correct. Okay, and what's the uh, company website? Uh, Corning.com. All right, so we go to Corning.com. You can see if your phone or your tablet has this in your... Actually, Gorilla Glass 3 isn't on any product as yet. All right, Gorilla Glass 3 is brand new here, so when, it, when is that going to be? Brand new. We're, we're actually designing it in with the various different customers at the moment. Okay. And um, we'll go into production with Gorilla Glass 3 at the end of this quarter, the end of quarter one. And hopefully sometime, sometime this year you'll see it on products. It just depends on how long the product development cycle takes with different customers. Very cool. So the products that we don't even have yet are going to be using these. That's what we hope. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you very much for the demonstration. And uh, this is Brandon Jackson from GearLive.com coming to you from CES 2013. We'll have more for you later.